Hi all, welcome back. This is our third video in our flow series. So uh, we have created a screen flow uh, to get the employee details and uh, create the employee record already. So if you have not watched the previous videos, I have provided the link uh, in the description as well as in the video. Okay. So uh, in, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add validation in the screen itself. For example, uh, in my employee object, I have few validations. I will show you. So I'm clicking debug. So I have a validation. Like uh, if any of the user is providing the future value in the data birth, uh, it will throw the error. But the validation rule is available in the object level, not in this screen flow. Okay. So in this screen flow, if I try to provide the future value, uh, I will show you what's happening. So here also, uh, for the mobile number also, I have a validation, like the mobile number should be having the 10 digit. So if it is having less than 10 or greater than 10, uh, it will throw an error. Okay, so I have provided two wrong values now. So I'm clicking next. So in the screen level, the validation is not happening. Since the validation I have created in the object level. So the flow will fail like this with the unhandled fault. If you scroll on the right hand side, you can see field custom validation exception, data birth should not be in future. So this is due to my custom validation. So if I provided a correct value in the data birth, it, will, uh, it might have shown the validation for the mobile number as well. So in order to avoid this uh, flow failures, we can handle the validations in the screen itself. Okay, so this is the validation I'm going to uh, add in the screen level. So this is the screen where we are getting the values from the user. So in the screen, just going to the date of birth. So if you scroll down the right hand side, you have the option to add the validation for the input. And if you want to uh, provide any help text also, you have the option. So go to the validate input. The first section, you can provide the error message. Date of birth should not in future. So in the below, we need to add the formula. So in which scenario uh, it should throw the error. So there is a small difference between our validation rule uh, and our uh, flow. So here in the validation rules, uh, if the condition becomes true, then the error will throw. Like uh, if it is a validation rule, I should add this condition, data birth greater than today. So when whenever this condition is true, it will throw the error. But in the flow, uh, it will throw the error whenever the condition become false. So I am providing DOB less than today. So until unless the condition is met, it will not throw error. So if the data birth is greater than today, then it will throw the error. So you need to change the condition, change your formula accordingly. So I will show you. So I'm going to refer the same uh, data birth uh, element, uh, the screen component. So here uh, in the insert resource option, you can go and get, get the data birth screen element. So it should be less than today. So we have the function right to return the current date. So I have the option today. So if the condition is met, it will not throw the error. So as long as the data birth uh, is in past, so it will not throw the error. If it is in future, so it will throw this validation message. So in the same functionality, I'm going to add the validation for mobile number as well. Scroll down, click on the validate input, the error message is under yeah, valid mobile number here also i'm going to use length function length of mobile number so it should be 10 always so if it is greater than 10 or less than 10 the condition will become false and it will throw an error okay Done. Now I will save us a yeah, different flow.
and flow video 3 validation click save just click the debug i will show you whether it is working or not So here I'm trying to provide the future value for June month. The mobile number, I'm entering only five digits. Okay. I'm just clicking next. So you can see the validation error message displayed in my screen itself. Okay. So date of birth should not be in future. For the mobile number also, it is telling please enter a valid mobile number. So if I provide any past value, I'm changing the year. So it become past now. I'm clicking next. Here you can see now the error message is not displayed for the data birth, but it is throwing for the mobile number. So I will enter more fields. Now it is greater than 10. So it won't go, it is throwing the error. So now it is exactly 10, um, uh, 10 digits. Clicking next. Now you can see the record should have been created. If you go to the employees. Yeah, that is to validate. So this is the one. Can see the mobile number, date of birth, and the record got created successfully. Okay. This is how you can add the validations. But you should know what functions you should use in the uh, validations. Thank you all.